My daughter Kelly went away to college, um, determined not to gain the freshman 15, and she was a little heavier in her younger years. So she started exercising a lot, eating healthy, and then you know every time she came home, we noticed she had lost more and more weight. By the end of her freshman year, going into her sophomore year, she began to have that bone structure showing through her skin, you know, her face, and she was getting to look a bit skeletal. And then we knew something was wrong. Kelly was never overweight, but maybe a little bit heavier in high school, and then she went to a really small rail then um, through college. We didn't realize really how bad she was. She never had in-house treatment or anything. She just went to a counselor. Um, so she got married, um, and one day she went to bed and her husband found her in the morning. Essentially, my family grieved for so many years because we didn't really have any way to discuss it that was healthy. My sister started this foundation in 2013 and she decided because she wanted to do something for Kelly and in Kelly's memory. So she started the foundation with the idea of trying to help prevent it in young children. This is the third gala that we're having in Dallas. What we're doing here is we are reaching out to people who are not familiar with us, don't know our story, and yet what we're trying to accomplish is consciousness raising. We have never had a silent auction before, and we have a very large variety of items. We have a variety of services as well as products. We have a variety of prices. Carolyn Jones is a local jazz musician, and she and her band are here. She's a beautiful performer, and I know that everybody's gonna have a great time with her music while they're buying at the auction. And my sister Nancy is going to make some comments tonight. Nancy's gonna talk a little bit about what could have happened, what might have happened, and maybe our vision of what can and will happen in the future if some young person does get diagnosed with an eating disorder. I just want people to be aware that it's out there. You know, be aware that it is very many, I, very few people can tell you that they know somebody who specifically has an eating disorder, but when they turn around and look, there's a lot of people that do. So it's just the awareness that it's, it's there and it's such a secret, hidden under the carpet type disease. I would also like to demolish the notion that this is a rich white girl's disease. And there are people of all walks of life, people of all race, nationality, socioeconomic background that get this disease. Between consciousness raising and then helping to create the tools for the kids, as well as the parents for signs to recognize when there is a problem. These are some of the subjects that we're trying to address with the funds that we're raising.